Are you still struggling to rank your Google business even after trying everything? Well, I've worked with hundreds of businesses and you can't actually ignore that AI is affecting results. But if there's some secret AI tricks you could use today that could help you bring in real customers. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three essential hacks that will help you boost your visibility without risking your business profile safety. And I've also got a free guide that's packed with many expert tips to help you along the way. And that's in the description below. So make sure you grab that before the end of the video. So let's kick off with hack number one that gets to the heart of what ChatGPT is looking for. And I call this Bing Sync. See, most business owners think that updating their Google business profile is enough to show up everywhere online. But here's the problem. While Google business profiles is great for Google, it doesn't have much pulling power when it comes to other AIs like ChatGPT's results. And here's what most people don't realize, that ChatGPT and Bing Places are owned by the same company, Microsoft. So therefore, for you to get into ChatGPT's results, it can actually be quite easy if you've also got a Bing Places set up. But then we can't keep optimizing Bing Places, Google Business Profile, Apple Maps, and so on and so on. How can you make it all work easy and seamlessly? Well, here's a hack. Microsoft are pouring millions into Bing Places at the moment so that you can feed it and in effect feed ChatGPT. And you can then piggyback on what ChatGPT is looking for. See this email I got the other day? It's showing that it's going to be upgraded. So all you need to do is get your Bing Places and then just sync it with your Google business profile. It's that simple. Just one button. Then you just then allow all the information you've got in Google business profile seamlessly come over to Bing Places, which in effect is then putting it into ChatGPT's results. And that will boost your visibility, your trust in ChatGPT, but it also means that everything's kept consistent, which is essential for building trust. So just head to Bing Places, click Sync with Google Business Profile, and then let it do its work. It will then continue to sync as you update your Google Business Profile. In effect, you're also updating Bing, and in effect, that's updating AI results such as ChatGPT. Now, your customers can find you first, whether they're looking on Bing, or on Google if you continue to optimize it. And in effect, that's gonna double your potential of finding new traffic. So now you've made sure that your business is showing everywhere that's essential. Let's talk about getting the right people to actually find you, local high quality customers. So that brings us on to hack number two, which is to be answerable. But here's what most people don't really understand is AI isn't about just providing links like a search engine. It's about answering customers' questions. It's about finding answers to the questions that your customers are asking. So how do you go about making sure that you're the one that's shown in those answers? Well, you need to actually show that you answer the questions that real people are looking for. And that needs to be on your website and on your profiles. I mean, think of it like a quiz show. The AI is the host. The only contestants are the ones that have the right answers and get called on. So if your website is just a brochure, and it's got no answers, then it's not really in the game. Whereas if you've structured your business to have answers to questions that your customers are asking, then you're going to be the one who's winning all the questions. So here's the hack you need to do. Go to websites like Answer the Public, or just go to Google, do a search, and then look for what it says under People Also Ask. There's a box there. These are real questions that real customers are asking. You could even look at your emails that you're getting from customers and see what questions they're asking. This video I'm making right now was because a customer asked me exactly this. How do I rank with AI as well? How do I get seen in those results? And thus, I'm making this video. So now you've got some of those questions. List the ones, the top questions that you think your customers are asking. Now add these questions to your FAQs on your website, your Q and A's on your business profile. Just add those questions. And even if you're asking the question and then you answer it, that's acceptable. That's quite safe as far as Google's concerned. That's not going to get you suspended. And in effect, what you're trying to do is make sure you cover the what's, the why's, the where's, the how's. Make sure those things are covered on your website. And that's how you go from being just not another website, but a business that answers real questions that AI can use to then suggest this is the business that can help you. So now customers can find you through AI. 
Here's the next challenge. How do you make sure that they remember you? Of course, when customers find you, they may not be ready to buy, but you want them to remember your brand so they can come back to you when they are ready to buy. So how do you do that? Well, here's where hack number three comes in. But before we discover that, don't forget to download that guide I mentioned earlier. It's in the description below. Right, so let's move on to hack number three. And this is going to help you get customers keep being sent your way when they're ready to buy. And I call this get attributions. So when a potential customer comes across your business through AI or through search results or through Google Maps or through voice search, the chances are they still need to think on things. So we need to get your brand name in their head. How do we do that? Well, if AI tools can easily recognize and attribute your content, you become the trusted source that keeps getting recommended. The more customers that go your way and associate you with the service they're after or the products they're after, the more likely that that pleases the algorithms and therefore you get suggested again and again. Think of it like being quoted in the news. If you're the expert everyone references, your reputation starts to skyrocket. So here's the hack. Make it super easy for AI to discover you and to reference your brand's name. Now, how do you do that? We'll use clear headings, use bullet points, and make it clear that the products and the services and the tips you offer are associated with your brand name. So instead of saying Google Business Profile Tips, as I could mention in this video, I can say it's Zanet Designs Google Business Profile Tips. And that being in the header is then going to recognize that certain brands go with certain types of products. Now, most people skip this, but actually it's really powerful for AI to have this association. The thing is that AI can't guess that a business is associated with some keywords. It has to see it for itself and you have to provide that. So try this, add your brand name to your tips, to your FAQs, to your products, do it wherever you can and it makes sense. Use it consistently, use it on bullet points, use it on titles. You want to be the go-to name or brand in your niche so that people refer to it. You think of Google, we don't talk about searching for something, we could talk about Googling it. Google's already owned the search term in effect for many years. But can you do that with your business? In 2026, that's gonna be essential because those who rank high in AI searches are going to be the ones that have proven a track record of truth. So you need to make sure that's you. So now you know what's working in AI right now and why bringing the human element is absolutely necessary. There's one more powerful thing we haven't covered yet to bring in leads and sales. And it's about getting your reviews to show up in the AI results. Now these reviews get presented everywhere. So whether they're on Google Maps, on Google Search, on AI mode, going to ChatGPT, or even just doing a voice search, your reviews will get used. And AI is loving using that information from your customers to present as a reason why people should use your business. So if you want to stand out using reviews, then the guide is all about how to do that in the link down below. But here's the thing, asking for reviews can occasionally backfire when someone gives you then a bad review. But don't worry, in this video here, I show you how to turn those things around and make all reviews work for your business so you're trusted. I'll see you on that video next.